And you know what? That's a very good thing indeed. A lot of people were really concerned that De Niro had been silenced after he was forced to remove the documentary Vaxxed from the Tribeca Film Festival last year. Now, Vaxxed is a documentary that accuses the CDC of covering up the link between vaccines and rising autism rates. The CDC, they've declared there is no connection between vaccines and autism. But Robert De Niro, who is not anti-vaccine, asks, who settled it? How is it settled? He gave a recent interview on Full Measure with Cheryl Atkinson, where he asked just that, where is the science? Now, Vaxxed is directed and co-written by anti-vaccination activist Dr. Andrew Wakefield, and it exposes a huge scandal at the CDC, where a longtime researcher, William Thompson, confessed in 2014 that he and colleagues committed gross fraud in a study of the MMR vaccine. Vaxxed accuses the CDC of covering up the link between MMR vaccines and rising autism rates. And they point out how this is particularly detrimental to the black community. Black males, for some reason, are even more susceptible to autism from the MMR vaccine. But they covered that up and messed a little bit with the data so that they could hide the correlation between vaccines and rising autism rates. And you'll find all of that in this movie, Vax. It's a it's time to stop. It's time to stop, okay? No more. Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop. It's hilarious when people make accusations of things that they are quite necessary. And Alex Jones's girl toy, Leanne McAdoo, or what kind of a name is that? How do you pronounce that? Has got some real holes in her rant about vaccines. <laughs> What's hilarious is that people with little knowledge about them will make these accusations. I mean, if you ask the average person, they will not know how vaccines work. So if any right-wingers want to talk about something they don't know, I'll go into detail about how it goes. In 1796, Dr. Edward Jenner noticed that milkmaids were immune to smallpox, which was a deadly disease at the time. He believed that this was because they were already exposed to a mild form of cowpox first, and then it went up over time. Jenner injected an 8-year-old boy with a small, non-lethal dose of cowpox as an experiment, and his hypothesis, as predicted, was correct. The boy became immune to smallpox. He was so confident in his work that he even injected his 11-month-old son with the same dose, which also led to positive results. Two years later, Jenner published his research, which coined the term vaccine from vaxa, which is Latin for cow. To go into further detail, a vaccine is basically a small, non-harmful dose of a deadly virus being injected into the patient's bloodstream. After the body notices a foreign object, its immune system rushes to it, intending to learn everything possible about the new substance being introduced into the body. This way, your immune system already knows about the pathogen and can produce the antibodies necessary to fight a wave of deadly ones when they re-enter the body. This practice has been used for over 200 years, and no one has really spoken out against it. But then in 1998, a former doctor and a medical researcher named Andrew Wakefield published a research claiming that there was a strong link between vaccination and autism. This claim got massive media attention which spread all over the world. A staggering 18% of Americans have stated that they would not vaccinate themselves or their children. And numerous Hollywood celebrities, many of which are also conservative, have spoken against vaccination. However, things took a different turn as many scientific researchers and investigative journalists began their own experiments where millions of children were involved and a thorough analysis of Wakefield's research was conducted. All research itself showed that there was no connection between autism and the immunity procedure. As I explained earlier in the video, it is only a piece of a pathogen coming into contact with an individual's immune system. Furthermore, it turned out that Wakefield's research was unsubstantiated. A lot of his work was also falsified along with undisclosed financial conflicts erupting with the author. He was also discovered to have heavily mistreated autistic children, which led him to being discredited and banned from ever taking part in medical practices again. Unlike the story of causing autism, the discovery of his fraudulent acts didn't gain as much media attention and the world was left in the dark. There are some side effects to 
vaccine injections such as muscle cramps, excessive sweating and headaches, but this is all due to your immune system reacting to a foreign object. As I mentioned earlier, countless studies have shown that this is a safe way of immunizing the body from all types of diseases. The only other thing that the vaccine contains is a few ingredients which are designed to stimulate the immune system. It is highly unlikely that they are harmful because they're all natural and many are found in the human body, such as aluminum and gelatine. The most controversial was an antiseptic called Famersol. However, no scientific proof has come out saying that it is linked to autism. Vaccines are important for all of us because they are what keeps us safe from all types of pathogens. We haven't had a pandemic since the Spanish flu because of advanced medical practices, one of which has been vaccinations. But if any red pill activists still adequately believe that vaccines are the cause of autism despite mounting evidence that says otherwise and from one research study from a fraudulent former doctor, well, there's little else I can do to convince you. Just know that Leanne McAdoo isn't really a good person to look up to.